our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, found in our hearts and minds, the cue cards are on page 105 of the ELW. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, who was crucified and died in the Spirit. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He descended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Rooted in Christ and rising to serve. Let us pray for the church, the world, and all in you. God of all, you created all people in your image with a wonderful variety of cultures and languages. May your church joyfully reflect this diversity and the unity we have in you. We pray with and for Christians in worship all over the world this morning, especially those who faithfully worship you in spite of persecution for their beliefs. Sustain them with your love. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Your spirit pulses through all creation. We thank you for watered gardens, for abundant yield, for clean water, for sunlight, for communities where people and nature live in peace together. Use us to bring comfort and hope to those coping with drought, fire, flood, or contaminated water especially in California, Africa, and Louisiana. Hear us, O oh God. You are our refuge and strength and have bound us together in a common life. Remove the yoke of divisiveness and the pointing of the finger at our enemies that impedes peace. Guide leaders and nations in your path so that breaches among and within nations will be repaired. We pray especially for Syria, Turkey, and the racial tensions within our own nation. Hear us, O oh God. You are the healer of our every ill. Bring strength, health, and wholeness in the parched places of our lives. Bless those in need this day, the sick, the grieving, the despairing, those at the crossroads in their lives. We pray especially for Rosa, Bonnie, June, the family of friends of Ron Dunn and Fred Julius, those on our prayer list, those we name aloud now, or in our hearts. Surround them with care and hope. Hear us, O oh God. You are the Good Shepherd, and raise up men and women to be leaders in your church. Be with all congregations in the call process, especially the five congregations in our Tappancy Conference that have pastoral vacancies. Support them and our synodical leaders who work with them during this time of transition. Hear us, O oh God. You have placed us to live in community. Bless family life everywhere. Strengthen the commitment of spouses to one another. Embrace parents and children, grandparents and grandchildren, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, siblings and cousins in your love, that they might reflect that in their care for one another. We pray especially for Susie and Scott, who will be married today. Hear us, O oh God. You call us to ministries and you call us to times of rest and renewal. Amid the busy schedules of our lives, teach us to observe Sabbath worship and rest, that we might find our hearts refreshed in Christ and strengthened for service to others. Hear us, O oh God. You have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses to your love. We thank you for all who have shaped our faith in you and pray that on the last day we may all be, re be reunited around your heavenly banquet table. Hear us, O oh God. We lift our prayers to you, O oh God, trusting your promise to hear us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, abounding in steadfast love toward us, healing the sick and raising your people to new life, showering us with every good gift. Amen. Let us confess our sin. 
in the presence of God and of one another. <clears throat> Just and gracious God, we come to you for healing in our life. Our sins are others and to us. We confess unto you. Our life bears the scars of sin. We bring these also to you. Show us your mercy, O God. Unlike up our wounds, forgive us our sins, and free us to love for the sake of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. The Apostle Paul assures us, when we were dead in our trespasses, God made us alive together with Christ, nailing the record of our sin to the cross. Jesus says to you, your sins are forgiven. Be at peace and tell everyone how much God has done for you. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you all.